fasting a fad? Is this something new? Is this some thing that, you know, or some groovy new thing to do? Well, intermittent fasting seems to be very popular these days. Uh, if you go to a bookstore or you on the internet, you'll find, uh, I put up in my slide here, this, I, this just one pic, and it's so many, because people are realizing that, oh, fasting works. And intermittent fasting, fasting for 18 hours and then eating twice or something, very easy. They can do that. It's not a new fad. Fasting is a lost practice of humbling ourselves before God, and it makes for powerful praying. Jesus expected that we would fast. He said this, Moreover, when ye fast, that's in Matthew 6, 16. He didn't say, if ye fast. He said, when ye fast. He's talking to them, don't, don't, don't be a hypocrite, don't be like a Pharisee when you fast, but it's, he's assuming that you do fast. The Jews did, the Day of Atonement was a day of fasting. Fasting was part of the prescription given by God to gain his mercy. Joel 2, chapter 2, verse 12. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, if you will, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting. God said that. Turn to me with all your heart and with fasting. Show me your sincerity. Humble yourselves before me. One way to humble ourselves, believe me, is fasting. And we know Jesus, who we follow, we are Christians. He fasted before he began his ministry. He fasted 40, he got control of his own flesh first. He didn't go out all proud. He fasted for 40 days and then he began. And then when he could cast out devils, evil spirits, and so on, he told his disciples, Howbeit this kind, this spirit, goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. He had power because he had power over himself first, his own flesh. Bill Bright. I think he's passed away now, but Bill Bright, he, uh, he was the leader of uh, Campus Crusade, I believe. He used to fast for 30 days every year. He'd take a 30-day block of time and fast. And he said this in 1994, I believe the power of fasting as it relates to prayer is the spiritual atomic bomb that our Lord has given us to destroy the strongholds of evil. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. Watchman Nee he fasted for over 40 days. He was in a prison at the time. Perhaps uh, He's perhaps the most, if you haven't read any of his books, probably the most influential man as far as number of people in our lifetime. Up, Upton Sinclair, he was an activist back in the day, 100 years ago. Through fasting, I have found perfect health a new state of existence, a feeling of purity and happiness, something unknown to humans. Mark Twain, we've all heard of him, he said this, a little starvation can really do more for the average sick man than can the best of medicines and the best doctors. Mark Twain said that, wow. Abraham Lincoln, he declared the last Thursday of September, this was in 1861, to be a day of prayer and fasting. And he's honest, right? Ben Franklin, the best of all medicines are resting and fasting. So not a new fad. Paul said this, the Apostle Paul, in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 23 through 27, in stripes above measure, prisons frequent, journeyings often, in watchings often, in fastings often. He fasted often. David said this. This is Psalm uh, 35, verse 13. The margin says, humble or afflicted. I humble my soul with fasting. 
And there's a picture of David. He's pretty buff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, all the major Eastern religions, Hindus, Muslims, they all have a fast. They, they, they do it. Why don't we fast? Why don't the Christian people fast? It's just not good. It goes way back to Leviticus 23, the Day of Atonement. Ye shall afflict your souls. Leviticus 23, verse 27 and 28. When he said, ye shall afflict your souls, uh, I just saw in the margin, afflicted means humble. You're fasting. The Jews would practice a one-day fast. In fact, that one day was uh, usually uh, end of September, early October. If you have your Bible, I want you to go to Acts 27. I want you to see something. Paul's in a shipwreck. They're about to crash. In verse 9, Acts 27, verse 9, now when much time was spent, and when sailing was now dangerous, because, check this out, the fast was already past. The fast was now past. What? The fast was now past. Say that five times quick. What's he, see, he's talking about this fast that's ordained in Leviticus. The one day fast is past. It's a marker in time for them. It's part of their annual religious ceremony. It's very, uh, it continued all the way through. Okay, I think uh, we've got to wrap this up. Know this. God thinks you can do well on two meals a day. You can live with just two meals. Not, not snacking. You know, have three, where did three squares come from? Here's what God said. When he's rebuilding a man for his health, 1 Kings 17, verse 3 through 6, the ravens brought the prophet food once a day and then twice a day, early and late, two times. That's, the, that's all the meals you need. You can live. You'll be quite successful. Again, 1 Kings chapter 17, you'll find it. And uh, what's a raven? It's a crow. It's got a souped up V8 crow. You know, he's a scavenger. What a, it's a miracle to be raven fed but twice a day. That's all. We have this thing where we have to eat all the time, have to have snacks. Okay, know this. We're, we're, we're ending. Know this. You know, you already fast. You learned that last time. We already fast. Anytime we sleep, we're not eating. We're, we're fastening our lips and fastening our teeth. We're not eating. We're fasting. You can fast. You can take control of your own health. Here's your assignment. No snacks after dinner. No more snacks. I want you to eat. You can have three meals. We're going to get to two. And this time... Can you go, <laughs> brace yourself, can you go 12 hours without eating? Can you do it? I mean, no sugary drinks, nothing. You can have water, drink all the water you want, but 12 hours. Prove to yourself, you can do it, you can live, all right? Oh, this is good. You're, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be successful. Speaking of success, we have a sponsor that helped us, that helps us pay for the, the work of these videos. Here is a sponsor now. God bless you. I would love your comments. If you've fasted, you've tried to fast it, please feel free to comment. God bless you. We'll see you next time. We
Oh, we're just getting started. Bye-bye.